When people ask me what's the classic typical Roman dish, I usually answer the carbonara or the amatriciana. They're both well known, people love them, and most of all, you can find them at any Roman trattorias. But do you want to know what the real traditional Roman dish is? Let's ask Alberto Sordi, the Roman guy. Oh, porta qua. Bene. Che sono? E questi sono rigatoni con la pagliata. E la pagliata? Che cos'è? Che? Beh, meglio non te lo dico, se no mangiali prima. Dopo te lo dico. Mangia Olimpia, assaggiali. È un piatto tipico della cucina romana. Com'è? As Alberto says, rigatoni con la pagliata is the ultimate Roman dish. Most probably you've never heard of them, nor tasted them. Nowadays, even in Rome, they're not easy to find. And less and less housewives are still cooking them at home. However, today I'm presenting you an expert, Maria Pia. She learned how to cook the pagliata from her mother-in-law. And she cooks it very often as it's her husband Roberto's favorite dish. They got married in 1969. Pia was only 19 and Roberto 24. Just look at them. For their honeymoon, they drove down the Amalfi Coast with Roberto's Alfa Romeo. This is Teresa, Roberto's mother. She's become a widow rather young, but she raised nine kids. Nine beautiful children. Roberto says often she would cook the pagliata and the kids would finish them within minutes. Teresa taught Pia two ways of preparing the pagliata, in red and in white. The origin of this dish is a bit sad. Till recent, meat was something quite expensive and it was definitely not an everyday thing. The largest slaughterhouse of Rome used to be in the Testaccio area. The workers, the butchers, often were compensated with the ancillable, that is, with the leftovers, the guts. They would take whatever they were given and have them cook to feed their family. Once the dish of the poor, now a Roman tradition. First of all, you'd have to have a good butcher whom you can trust to. Usually Pia orders them to Massimo, her butcher. Today Massimo has got good quality fresh paillata and now he's patiently cleaning them for her by eliminating the fat. Adesso togliamo tutto il grasso. Then he peels the first layer of the skin. See the milk inside? They're called chime, chimo in Italian. Two kilos of paillata, which is, by now you've guessed it, the small intestines of a calf. Not just any intestines, it has to be the early part, right after the stomach. And not just any calf, calves who's never eaten nor hay nor grass, but only the milk of the mother cow. He's not throwing away the string of skin, because Pia needs it later. The packages are ready to go. Buongiorno, ecco a qui la pagliata pronta, eh? Arrivata. Now at home, she starts making little donuts using the string of skin, one after another. Or she weaves them into braids. Naturally, they're very slippery.
Here's a perfect braid. Even I give it a try. Now a 10 second break, titled Roman Sunday Afternoon. In the meantime, the donuts and the braids are both ready. Here are the ingredients, celery, carrots, onion, canned chunks of tomato, tomato in sauce, and also fresh tomatoes. So three types of different tomatoes. For this dish, garlic, chili pepper, vinegar, white wine, and rosemary, and salt and pepper, obviously. Everyone gather around the table. Time to eat. È un piatto prelibato che ben pochi lo sanno mangiare, lo sanno pure apprezzare. E come la pagliata di via? Uguale di di mamma o sempre? È uguale, uguale. Lo fa bene? Sì, ha fa bene. È imparato bene? Abbast abbastanza. So here you go, an authentic healthy Roman dish prepared with a special spice. A spice called love.